Hi, I'm Leno, and I welcome you to my Lost Ark PvP stats guide. If you're looking for what points to put for your character, then I've linked a document in the description with a rough guide of what to use. But if you want to understand why that is, then hang around a little. In Lost Ark, players are given the freedom to distribute their stat points across six different substats. These are Crit, Specialization, Domination, Swiftness, Endurance, and Expertise. Each of these stats have a different effect, some better than others. Every player has the same number of points to distribute across these in PvP, so it's important you know what to put points on and why. Your character tends to receive stats from gearing, namely accessories. You can see that if I remove all of my accessories and equipment, this will get rid of my substats. But PvP is influenced by Fighter's Diary, a separate system that has its own stats, substats, and skill points. It is perfectly equalized and everybody has the same number of points, regardless of gear or rank. So long as you have a weapon equipped, since you need a weapon to use skills, your character's stats are perfectly equalized. It will always match the values from Fighter's Diary, regardless of your equipment. You are given 1250 stat points to distribute freely, but keep in mind the maximum you can put on a single stat is 1000. So let's work through the stats in order of how common they are. We'll begin on the most important stat of all for PvP, Swiftness. Swiftness is a pretty overloaded stat. It increases attack and movement speed and reduces your cooldowns. The attack speed increase is at about 0.0171% per point. This doesn't just make catching enemies easier, but depending on your class, certain thresholds need to be met to perform certain combos. Without enough Swiftness, you might end up forcing the 3 second scales rule. And for long skills, you might not even need to combo to four scales if your swiftness is too low. This means having a certain level of swiftness isn't just optimal, it's necessary. Secondly, it increases your movement speed at about 0.0171% per point. This may seem minor, but it is really important for helping you stay alive and outmaneuver your opponents. Having that extra bit of movement speed is what makes the difference between dodging attacks and getting hit. Being able to walk just a little bit faster and attack a little bit sooner is what separates just a near miss from a 50% health damage team combo. Lastly, it increases your cooldown reduction stat at about 0.0215% per point. Notice a 27 second cooldown for my Q skill. With 1000 agility, that goes down to 21 seconds. I should note this also reduces the cooldown on your ground escape rolls and your space dodge. This makes it all the more important for survival. Not to mention lower cooldowns are just a DPS increase, as you get to use your skills a lot more often. Due to all the advantages it provides, picking swiftness is usually a no-brainer, so going to the maximum of 1000 is a safe choice. Still, some players do opt to run lower swiftness and choose to put points into other offensive stats instead, though usually not by much. So don't be surprised if you see everyone in your match having 1000 swiftness. The exact balance of swiftness to other stats is a personal choice, but it will usually be the primary stat in any build. The second most common stat you see is Domination. Domination is a pretty straightforward damage increase stat. It increases damage done to targets under CC at about 0.0613% per point. The value it takes for PvP is Immobilize. You hit regularly and it doesn't really do anything. But get hit while on the CC and you're in for a world of pain. What makes it so strong is just how heavily weighted it is. Other damage increasing stats, just crit or specialty, usually do not give an increase of this size. Do keep in mind that by CC, the game means pushes, in other words knockups, knockdowns and knockbacks, as well as hard CC. It does buff damage during wake up frames though, as it counts as a knockdown. But if you're in hit or paralysis, soft or hard stiffness, domination will not apply. So even if the increase may usually be bigger than crit or specialization, it isn't always the best pick for a secondary stat, as it does have limitations. It is usually the safest choice though. Next up is specialization. Specialization is a bit of a difficult stat to deal with. This is because it's completely different for every class. This makes it amazing for some, and utterly unusable for others. For Dead Eye, for example, it increases pistol crit damage, shotgun base damage, and sniper armor penetration. For Shadowhunter, on the other hand, it increases her demon form damage, demon form duration, and gauge gain. 
The one thing it does across all classes is increase your awakening skill damage at about 0.0546% per point. Awakening is your ultimate skill, but while powerful, it can only be used once in a match. It is a game changer to your skill. But even with the massive amount of damage that specialization can give to your awakening, it is not enough to warrant sacrificing your damage outside of it. Though, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a fun stat. Oh, 108k crit! Let's go! <laughs> what actually matters is the unique effect that it provides, and how hard it scales. For some classes, such as Summoner, who aren't combo-oriented, the raw damage increase specialization provides is just too high to pass it up. Not only does it scale harder than other stats, but it buffs her identity generation, which is her main source of damage. Some summoners even run specialization over swiftness as a primary stat. It will take too long to go over how specialization works for every class, so I've linked a document in the description that shows what it does for each class and how much it contributes. So you just have to look at your class and decide for yourself if it seems worth it, though the stats guide in the same document can help. Some classes may even have alternate builds based on specialization, like Gunslancer's blue build, so keep an open mind. Now we go to crit. This gives you a chance to inflict a critical hit, at about 0.0358% chance increase per point. It does not increase crit damage, only chance. You see this as being yellow numbers instead of white. In PvE, this doubles the damage you deal, assuming no other effects. In PvP, however, this only increases your damage by 50%. Considering that Domination increases damage by roughly 0.0613% per point, and some classes specialization can go up to 0.102% per point, it isn't really all that big an increase. 10% chance to crit will cost you 280 points and is realistically only a 5% damage increase due to the 50% modifier. Meanwhile, that many points in domination yields a 17% increase in damage to targets under CC. Considering most classes deal damage while targets are affected by push or hard CC, it makes sense to take a higher consistent damage up. However, there are parts on certain characters that increase critical damage. That changes things. Now instead of 50%, you may be looking at 150% critical damage increase. And for some classes, such as Sharpshooter, their main damage skill will do an absurd amount of damage if it crits. So although most classes don't run crit, there are some that have good synergies with their parts, which may make it more worth it than Domination or Specialization. Although you find most veterans put at least one point in crit, and with good reason. Oh, it's time. No awaken. There we go. 58k crit. crit. Wait, it crits, but there is no crit bonus in this in this mode. I have one crit. The one crit? 0.03%. Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why we run one crit. Now we're at the more defensive stats, namely endurance. Endurance is similar to Swiftus in which it does a lot. You have more physical and magical defense, at about 0.0818% per point. This can make even the glassiest of classes become very tanky. Shields are stronger when applied to you, at about 0.0256% per point. And healing is stronger when applied to you, at about 0.0358% per point. This can make a pretty sizable difference for support classes who usually take the stat, namely Bard and Paladin. Doubly so for Bard, who has healing on her identity. The stat isn't recommended to most classes. After all, the best way to survive is to kill your enemy before they kill you. But for support classes whose damage is low to begin with, a 15% increase in damage from Domination, you might get an initial 25k over the course of a match. With the same stats in Endurance, you get a 20% increase in Defense, 6% in Shields, and 9% in Heals, which may amount to 50k lower damage taken or healed. So for Bard and Paladin at least, it isn't such a bad secondary stat. The last and least stat, sadly, is Expertise. Expertise increases the duration of hard CC you apply to enemies, by about 0.0429% per point. It also reduces the duration of hard CC applied to you by about 0.0358% per point. While having longer CC is nice, you have to remember that CC duration in PvP is halved. A 3 second stun is only 1.5 seconds, so it's a negligible change. Ultimately, the benefits don't just outweigh the other stronger stats, especially as increased CC duration or reducing CC duration doesn't do much to change combo routes especially not when compared to just using higher swiftness. So let's summarize what each stat does and order them by how frequently they are picked. 
Swiftness increases your attack speed, move speed and decreases your skill cooldowns. Domination increases the damage you deal to targets under push or hard CC. Crit gives you a chance to do 50% more damage, a critical hit. Specialization increases awakening damage as well as providing unique bonuses for every class. Endurance increases physical and magical defense as well as the strength of shields and heals applied to you. And expertise increases the duration of hard CC applied to others and decreases the duration of hard CC applied to you. That more or less covers it for stats in Lost Ark PvP. Look at your class, what it can do, and get a feel for how you want to spread out your stats. But when in doubt, you can just get 1000 swiftness. It's hard to go wrong with that. Special thanks to my friends who helped get the footage for this video. As some stream or create content, I've linked their channels in the description. If you're interested in more Lost Ark PvP content, you can give this channel a sub, or you can follow my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash lim underscore no. I'm very thankful for supporting either. Thank you all for watching, and best of luck in the Colosseum.